What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Barbells and Burnouts. We are here out at Atlanta Motor Speedway today. Um, what we are doing today is an autocross event. So, you know, I got big girl out here trying to get her set up and ready. Um, just went through tech. 99.9% um, pass. I had to make sure my battery was tied down. But I have some good content coming for you guys today. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're about to start the grid. Just finished walking the track. So got some stuff for you. Well, I, I still want to be able to, you know. The, the key thing on the course, and I'm sure you said it about 50 times, was you got to look ahead. Look yeah. Far forward. No. You want to. Yeah, okay. You're on it, but it's okay. We're not going to back you up. All right, so you're going to launch and go right. Look where you're going to go. Yeah. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Wait a minute when he says go. You guys are waiting for a time? Go down, go all the way, go out to the outside here, yeah. to the row we're in, and then go back down. Go ahead and go down. That was quick. We wanted to go down like the first row down okay. there. But just go on down past them and then get into your row. All right. That was really quick. Back in behind the other guy. All right, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to work on your hands because yeah. you're, you're moving your hands around a lot. Right there. All right, so with that being my first run, um, I was a little timid, not gonna lie. I was intimidated by the course. I'm just trying not to spin out and uh, wreck the car. Um, but they're saying that I need to make sure that I keep my hands off the shifter once I shift keep my hands on the wheel. That is something that I do need to do because I'm so used to uh, having to shift while I'm on the road and doing high speed uh, road runs and mountain stuff. I definitely need to work on having my hand on the steering wheel. So that's definitely something I want to do in the next run. Also, <laughs> in my run, I missed, I think, one corner. I got lost, uh, not one corner, one cone. I definitely just went on the wrong side of it uh, and cut all of it off. But I do want to be able to get to a place where I can find the cones and I'm just sitting here missing the whole thing, all right? But I want to show you guys the rest of the cars out here. So here are some other cars. Uh, we have a Miata that I just went. There's a little Porsche right there. There's a CRX that's running. Um, this Mustang's good. And that 550 dots right there is amazing. But yeah, this is uh, what we got going on out here, you know? Trying your best to actually get into you know, road racing and running. So what what was the big thing? I heard you were shuffle steering. Yeah. Try this, this, this car has plenty of turning on it. Try to keep your hands generally in one spot. But let's focus on being smooth. All right, we got the pod on good? Yeah, right. <laughs> ankle drop off. Let's focus on being as smooth as possible, okay? Okay. Looking way ahead. And I may help point it out a little bit. Go to second, leave it alone. Nice and smooth. Now get on it. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Nice and smooth through here. Up, right, on it. Look all the way through the turn. Push, two hands. All right, nice and smooth. Plus through here, I want you looking all the way to the end. Remember, it gets tight. So come out, now attack down. Look all the way to the end. 
Get on the gas. Keep going, this side. There you go, stay tight. Two hands on the wheel. There you go, come at it at an angle. Get on it, get on it, we're over here. Stay a little tighter. So your hands are really close together yeah. and you're sawing the wheel as a result of that. That's mm -hmm. what Larry was, was saying. You need them spread apart and you're going to be much smoother as a result okay, of that. Okay, so here instead of here. Yeah. Um, and you shouldn't, when you're when they're close together, go all the way down, all the way down. Oh. I did this again. He wanted me down. So. I mean, technically it doesn't matter, but yeah. just make sure you, you're consistent and turn around. It. I did it again. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna bite you over time. Yeah. So you want to fix that now. Wider. So, um, and and I already saw it cause some problems. So, the biggest problem that I saw is when you were trying to correct it, you went like this, and and the car shot over, mm -hmm. and that's not good. You want to you want it to you want to be really smooth with that stuff. Yeah. So, a lot of where you've got a room for improvement right now yeah. is you're you're going huge arcs you're like 20 like one point you were like 15 20 feet off yeah. the cones you want to be closer to the cones mm -hmm. and then be smooth with that stuff so focus next time on keeping your hands here mm -hmm. um, so get your shifting done hands back up there was a few times I saw you using one hand and you were going like this yeah. like two hands all the time okay. and keep them spaced apart the reason you're doing that is one hand you're using all this one muscle yeah. and it's harder to control and be accurate with one hand. You're better off doing it with two. Yeah. Again, you should just be able to turn it with your fingers Okay. and then stay closer on the cones. I'm so used to like having a shift so that's why I'll go one hand but I hear yeah. exactly what you're, you're saying. You're going to have to unlearn it. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's not a problem. Like We all we all have that habit. Yeah. A lot of people keep their hands down here because they think they're like worried about shifting. Yeah. That's why I tell people like I did you, get into second and forget about it. Like, yeah. Shifting is not a thing once you're done. Once you're in second, I noticed that because once I'm in second, I definitely, like you said, have all the rep, the rev range to go all the way yep. through. I didn't even, I don't think I hit feet tech really. Until, you did a little bit uh, on yeah, on there. the going out of the slalom, but exactly. again, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So good job. Thank you, boss. Yep. All right. So where are my hands going to be at? Here. Here. Not sawing. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. smooth I mean the big thing is if you can dial in the smooth um, then then you're gonna be you're gonna be good yeah. that was much better thank you thank you I was trying to do because um, I heard somewhere don't tuck your thumbs under the, the steering wheel yeah I reason. still do um, thank you thank you that's more for off-roading so you don't break break yeah. your thumbs yeah. out here it's you want to be able you want to be comfortable with the grip you got okay um, definitely your hands are in the right positions you were much smoother oh, okay much better overall and i figured once i got to the third one i'd be more, much more confident yeah good appreciate job appreciate you boss yep all right so that was my third run um much more confident oh let me turn the gopro off hopefully it got something it might not have gotten that run but you guys can see here the run that i did uh much more confident much feeling better i might actually take the um suction cup that i have here in my hand and put my phone up here see if it'll stick hopefully yeah. yeah it'll stick up there so give you guys a better view on it uh what i did um so you guys can get through the car look 
But like I said, much felt much better. Um, he said I did a lot better on that one. I didn't get a look at my time, but my first time was a 48. My second time was a 47, so we've been shaving off. It really has just been getting more confident in the fact that, okay, there's these car, these corners here. I can hit this cone, not like freaking out, spazzing out when I forget which cone's coming up again. Being able to memorize the course is really what I had to get through and go through, yeah? So, boom. So, if you don't turn in on that first one soon enough, yeah. Then you're farther behind on the next mm. one, and by the time you get to the third one, you got a break to make it. Yeah. So you have to get your turn started earlier. Yeah. Okay. And you know. That makes sense. The, I'm so focused on when you walked on, on the course walk. Did they say something about thinking about like if you were going to hit the cone, you want to hit it with the rear tire? Yeah. They said that's. Um. They said back. Uh. Backsiding it. Yeah. Did you short shift or did you? Short shift it. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have to do that in the Miata. Yeah. Ready? Hmm? Three hands. I mean, for today. Yeah. Eventually, you want to get to the point where you're there. But yeah. The other thing is, you were late in the second slalom as well. Yeah. Actually, you didn't even uh, in, do the slalom. Engage, yeah. yeah. But uh, you were still a little late on it. You wanted, but you managed to go through it without having to break. You were, you know, you were okay there. Yeah. But you want to. Oh. Uh, I have to stop and think about where we went. Yeah, had a pretty good turnaround. That was very good. And you do the sweepers nicely. A little bit too big, Yeah. but not big. But where you were really too big was coming, no, not at your turnaround, coming into this stuff. Yeah. When you go out to the right at the end of that slalom, you don't gotta go that far out. Mm. You were way over there. Yeah tighter and start your turn earlier and coming out of that you don't have to go way left yeah. there just come in so that because all that is if you think about it you got all of these cones all of these cones and this set of cones and really all you're doing is going but what you want to do coming off of that second one is stay to the left there so that you can get a better earlier turn and that way you won't have as much it won't be as hard to make the turn the, that last right turn yeah. it'll be easier to do if you stay a little bit right there and think about don't even worry about those three cones mm -hmm. you don't have to be close to those the one you want to be close to is the next cone yeah, after the yeah. three I'm looking at, at the cone instead of the the, 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 the next cone alright everybody so we have the instructors driving now behind us uh, I'll see if I can get you guys some good clips of that but funny thing I realized so I've been running right now on the track my tires were somewhere around 35 to 38 leaving much harder than I did but I had my tires around between 38 and 35 psi and it's just like that is nowhere I'm slipping sliding all the way around if you can see in the video so one of the instructors actually has an S2000 of his own and he told me to drop my PSI down to 30. So we'll see what happens when I get down to 30. I expect my times to go down because he just ran like a 34. My best time was something like a 46, 45, 
we'll see what happens. All right, let's go! Keeps getting me. This corner keeps getting me. I was perfect there, and then it went on me. Ah. I know my tires aren't amazing, but I'm trailing too much speed with it, and it's just letting go, um, which sucks. But, you know, what can you do? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, man, it happens. Yeah. But you got it on camera. Yeah, and that's the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a 40 on this. I'm aiming for a 40, aiming for a 40. But I gotta get that back right. That back side is the only thing that kills me. Yeah. Yeah. Lego! on that one. Told you I was gonna get a 40 on that one. That's what I like to see. I think what it really is that I need in this car is a front sway bar. Um, or I need to work on my tire pressure in the rear. Um, they're telling me that the Indy 500s, I thought Indy 500s were good tires, but apparently they're not. So they're saying that I need to get a better set of tires for the rear end. I can feel it because the rear end, like most car times, the S2000 wants to step out. But also, I'm coming all the way off the throttle, and that's upsetting the car a lot. Um, so it is a lot on me. Um, and I need to work on trailing my throttle instead of just jumping off of it and then jumping back on it. That's pitching the car back and forth. But um, I think a sway bar will do me so much justice. Seven. 39 397 39 397 that's what I got on that one so that's second best run run I did today 39 397 um, so really what I had to do fix this so you guys can see me all I really had to do was slow down on that big sweeping corner because I think I'm trying to I was trying to power through the big sweeping corner and that was just spinning it all the way out so with these tires sliding everywhere all over the place that's what I got all right 
All right, everybody. So this is going to be me signing off. This was a great, great event. If you ever get a chance to do something like um, a autocross event for novices, track days um, with the SCCA, um, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Shout out to Atlanta Region SCCA for putting on a great event. Um, definitely something I will be doing in the future so you guys can expect to see a lot more content um, from me with the S out here. Um, and a lot more mods to take care of this. I love the fact that I'm out there flying around, I'm sliding around. Um, don't like that, but I have the plans to fix it. Maybe a front sway bar, uh, obviously better tires, and just better control. I love the seat time that I got, all right? So again, if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you share, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later on, all right? Peace.